Hello, my loves. It's Elizabeth Van Cleve from High Vibes Life, helping you make the rest of your life the best of your life. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about genuine self-love and why I created it and what it is for and who it is for. When I went through my healing journey, it began when I was in my 40s. And at that time, I was given a vision. I knew it was going to be a very, very difficult journey, something that was going to be harder than anything I'd ever done in my entire life. But I also saw this vision. I could see myself going down this tar dark, dark tunnel and I was looking back and I had paved a path and the path was illuminated and it was for others who wanted to go down the same journey to be able to have a lit way and an easier time making their way through this. And it was this vision that actually um, made such a huge impact on me. I, not only was I going to help myself and help myself get past these places in life where I felt so crippled and so insecure and so um, damaged that I didn't think I would be able to go on and live a normal, healthy life, but also I realized it was gonna, I was going to be able to help others down the line. And that was so exciting to me and such a beautiful incentive for me to press forward in this. I knew I didn't have to go through a healing journey, but I knew if I didn't go through a healing journey, I would continue to have the issues that I was currently having throughout the rest of my life. Some of those issues were um, depression, um, I had suicidal thoughts, I felt very insecure. I had a hard time being in a crowd of people. I wouldn't go to school because I felt like I was too stupid. So throughout my journey, I journaled and I recorded everything I went through. And when I got to that place where I felt like I was whole, like I had been truly healed of my past, I then began to think about how I would be able to help others. And at first I thought I would go and get a psychology degree, go into therapy and be a therapist. And then I went through and got my AA in psychology and I realized I already knew what I had to give to others. I already had been from point A to point B. I already knew what it, what it took. And I almost felt like school was going to school it out of me, school this raw place inside of me, this genuine authentic place inside of me that knew how to talk to people at a layman's level. I felt like I had enough psychology already and understanding of psychology to be able to help the people that I wanted to help. Those are women who have been through childhood abuse or dysfunction and who feel like I felt, who feel depressed, who feel like life has left them behind, who feel like they're not going to be able to live the kind of life that they want to live because they're too damaged from what happened to them as children, but who really, really want to heal. Those are the people that my course, Genuine Self Love, was created for. I literally went through all those years of healing and I distilled the most potent parts, the places where I really pivoted, where I really had aha moments, where I really shifted inside in big ways. And I really thought this through. There were certain criteria I wanted for it. I didn't want it to take a long time because I knew people have busy lives. I didn't want it to be a long, grueling journey and I wanted it to be magical and I wanted it to be fun and I wanted it to be exciting and I wanted them to start to see slowly day by day, wow, I'm changing. Wow, I'm actually starting to love myself. Wow, I actually did something that I would have never done before. I wanted to see this gradual shift inside them that was a happy, exciting, journey that they were taking. So that is why I brought in the element of archetype. The more I got into fable and story and started to look at things, even the Bible, which I had for years crossed all my T's and dotted all my I's to keep, to 
follow the Bible. I started to look at the Bible more as a parable and of something that's going on inside of me, of my inner kingdom, and that every character in the Bible was a part of me and who I am inside. And I started seeing the Bible completely differently and it started teaching me in ways that I never knew possible. And I started looking at story that way. One of my favorite stories has been Harry Potter because he was this young boy who basically was abused and neglected and unloved living in a little closet just a nobody and that's how I felt as a child like I was a nobody just unseen undeserving of anything good in life and he one day has somebody come knocking at his door when he's 11 years old and says hey not only are you not a nobody you're a wizard and you're one of the most powerful wizards the wizarding world has ever known and it was just so magical and I loved the way he was given back his power slowly and he learned that he had magic, that he was a magical person, that he was a powerful person, and that he had a mission in life. In Genuine Self Love, I use The Little Mermaid because The Mermaid is the embodiment of a powerfully feminine woman. So just to recap, Genuine Self Love was created for women who have a very low sense of their self and a very low sense of self-love, maybe even have self-loathing on board, and particularly for women who have been through um, difficult childhoods, whether divorce, you know, abuse. And it was designed to bring a woman from that place of feeling like she's just not that important and that her life is pretty insignificant to a place of being wowed by who she is and realizing how magical and beautiful her life really is. That is the goal of genuine self-love. I hope this video has been informative for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and please share it with anybody that you may know that might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.